guys, thanks for joining me for another shave, a midweek shave. For all you return viewers, welcome, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. <laughs> you're amongst good friends. Right, what we're using, as you can probably see from the thumbnail, Noble Otter Plunder. Great detail on the uh, on the tub, beautiful detail. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but this is actually gold, in gold. It's beautiful. Bit of a nautical theme going on. And the scent, the scent's beautiful, guys. And the notes in this are, which is on the side label, hello. Bay, grog, spice, rose, lime, grapefruit, vetiver, and cannon smoke. Gunpowder. And I'm getting it. I'm getting, if if you're familiar with firing a weapon, you'll recognise that smell. There's definitely gunpowder there. I'm getting a bit of vetiver. Yeah, there's 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 a hint of that sweetness or bitterness if you like of the uh, the lime and the grapefruit but the, i'm not getting so much the rose or a floral but i do get the spice it's a very well blended soap it, it, it all balances out there's the port so that's what we're using and i've got some whipped up already because it's a thirsty soap so it takes that a little bit more work. So for well, video purposes, I've tried to save a bit of time for you guys. I'm using my Captain's Choice Seaworthy Bowl. Beautiful bowl, absolutely beautiful. And I've whipped it up with my body, oh, sorry, body brush. Spelt body if you like. <laughs> my body brush, my ice blue. Or oh, my blue ice. No bells and whistles with this brush. But it's very nice. The knot, I'm impressed with the knot. It's a 24 millimeters synthetic. It's beautiful. Nice little bit of backbone for hard soaps. Right. Razor. I haven't used this for a while. And I just fancied it. My Rockwell 6C. C being the chrome. The 6S being the steel. Beautiful razor. Nice diamond knurling, good grip. Very versatile around the face. It's a very versatile razor because it comes with three plates. So you can use it as an adjustable. Plates are numbered one to six. I'm using plates R3. And on the other side is R1. So it goes like one, two, three, four, five, six on the three plates. There's the head cap. Beautiful razor. Right. Blade of choice is a, another vintage blade. And I'm a little bit confused. Kindly gifted to me from Kevy Shaves. Thanks, Kevy. Really appreciate it, mate. And it's a pole silver. It's a vintage. I think these came out around about the 1970s, as the early 70s. There you go. But, you know that the Paul Silvers, they got, uh, was it rebranded, Wizomets? They're the same blade, but they got rebranded. This is a Paul Silver with the Wizomet logo. And these are made in Poland. And I know that because it says there, Wizomet on the other side. That I think is Arabic. Same there. Don't know what it says. So I'm a little, a little bit confused. Is it Paul Silver? Is it a wizard mess? I don't know. There's the blade. There's the uh, the back of it. Do not wipe rinse only. So we'll get this loaded. Never tried them. I don't know what it's going to be like. The last vintage I used was the... Which one was it? Oh, double wrapped. <laughs> Yay! 
double wrapped, as you can see. And there's the blade. Pulse silver stainless with a number one on this side. Pulse silver with the Wizomet logo there with two on this side. Yeah, what was the blade I used last time? The vintage. I can't remember. It's been a, it's been a few days, four days growth to get me look, guys. And I'm cross thread in this. Come on, Chris, get a grip. Blade alignment looks good. Slight bit of overhang on this, guys. Just to be aware of. Right, let's wet the face and let's get lathered up. Oh, that's nice. So how are you doing guys, you okay? We're halfway through the week. I know some of you think you've got another half to go. Yeah, me one of them. <laughs> Set strength on this, I would put it at six straight away. Maybe six and a half, six out the puck, and maybe six and a half once it's lathered. It's beautiful. I'm really getting the gunpowder now. Very well balanced. Some heat from the razor with the hot water in the bowl, and then I'll let the water out. Right, here we go. Rockwell 6C, plate 3, with the vintage Paul Silver Wizomet. Let's see how this goes. First pass. Wow. That's a sharp blade. That is sharp. Careful that overhang. Yeah, apologies for no, no shave yesterday, guys. I had to have some work done on the car because it failed its MOT on last Thursday. I honestly didn't think there was anything wrong with it, apart from, yeah, I, I knew I rear tire. But, um, so we had to get it in, in the garage ASAP. I'm gonna pick the car up end of business on Tuesday. I, I, I was just too late getting home after work and, and everything. I was just too tired, guys. I didn't have my evening meal until, I think it was about half seven, quarter to eight. I was just too tired. And it was really straight, it was horrible as well because sort of like being militarized if you like. Routine. It broke my routine and head was all over the place. Do you get like that? I I think as well the older I get, the worse it feels. Something in your routine to just so if it breaks your routine and you feel so, I don't know, uncomfortable. A bit like us, uh, creature of comforts.
caution is excellent. That's nice. Yeah, I would. Any of you guys wondering what the uh, the scent of grog is? Well, grog is really any form of alcohol, and you probably know or heard. It's most commonly used in Australia and New Zealand, the word grog. Like if you have a night on the town or on a bender, when you feel a bit rough the next day and somebody will say, oh, you've been on the grog. That's where you'll hear, oh, you're coming out on the grog. Over here in the UK, we'll probably say, you're going out, coming out on the piss. And that comes from where you, you pee a lot after you've had so much. Just let me get the, uh, the old bins on. Now, the word the grog originally referred to as rum diluted with water. And it was uh, first introduced by the British Vice Admiral Edward Vernon and he introduced it in the Naval Squadron when he commanded in the West Indies in 1740 and what they used to do when they were travelling here we go guys, second pass across the grove when they were travelling overseas over to the Caribbean no, whatever. To do battle. They'd have these barrels of rum. But they also used to store barrels of water. Obviously you can't use the seawater. But they used to store barrels of water as well to mix with the rum. to make the rum last longer, hence the word grog. Now, Admiral Vernon also used to wear a coat made of, I think it's called grog McCloth, and it used to be referred to the coat as a uh, Old grogma or old grog, like we'd say, Oh, where's my coat? He would say, Oh, where's old grog? Apparently, Wikipedia's great. So that's where the word comes from. And I do get the bay scent on this. Not overpowering, it's very subtle, very subtle, but nice. It's a great scent, it's really pleasant. Bit of an uplifting scent. Not like a wake up scent, a mood. Uplifts your mood. How's your shaves going guys? Okay, I know some of you are again but I have some great shaves. Keep your shaves coming guys, keep your shaves of the day coming. I love reading them. 
So give me your shaves in the comments and keep your comments coming. The more the merrier. I get there in the end. <laughs> Weather in the UK has slightly improved. Or oh, North Wales. I'm not gonna say the UK. Because I believe they've been having a dusting of snow here and there up, up north. But in North Wales, it's gone mild. A, a little bit, no frost in the morning. It's been chilly. But it's mainly the breeze. Because we get the breeze here off the North Sea, towards Ireland, and it is a bit bitter. But the sun's been coming, it's been overcast and then the sun and... But the last few days, it's been quite warm, it's really, really pleasant when the sun comes out. 12 degrees back from where I live and on delivery. So yeah, weather's improving. Right, here we go guys. This, this blade's excellent. Thank you so much, Kevin. Against the growth, third pass. Don't you can hear that. Such an excellent nose of the 6C. I absolutely love it. It's one of the best razors I've got in the den. Very affordable. To most people, not to everybody, but I would highly recommend the 6C. This blade changes through the shave, whether it's taken off the initial edge. Wow, you can feel its sharpness, but it's so efficient and smooth. It's extremely comfortable. So I'm interested as well, if any of you guys know anything about these blades? It's upside down, no. If you know anything about these, let me know in the comments. So I can't really find anything about them. Now that I've used it, it's a cracking blade. No coming in from the side of this blade or this razor, it's straight up against the grove. Great for getting it to the nostril. I haven't used it as an adjustable, I've just left it on setting three, plate three. Good slickness off the soap. Nice bit of residual there. As you can see, this is a second appli application of water. Just to get it BBS. That's perfect. That's perfect. A bit more out of the bowl for the pickups. Usual suspects around here in the jawline. Stretching will cure most of that if you stretch. I don't stretch near enough. I don't stretch the skin at all. Here we go, guys. So I hope you guys have been having a great week. I hope you're all well and safe. Life is treating you kind.
As you can see, I didn't even add any water to that bit there. Residual slickness is excellent, and you can see it on the razor. Cold water in. Hello. My go to astringent. I've got loads of witch hazel there on the day and I just don't use it. I should really. I just love the feel of the alum. Excellent. Rinse that off. Fantastic shave again. Superb shave. <coughs> Matching splash. Give it a shake. Pretty sure these have got skin food in them, but it, it it's good to um, mix all the ingredients because some can separate. Dollop of that. Well, I'm getting more citrus. I can get the grapefruit and the lime. Definitely, that comes first. Well, that's, that's refreshing. That is nice. Wow. God, oh, that's so nice. Oh, I'm getting the, wow. I'm getting the, uh, the gunpowder. Wow. It's amazing the different combination of scents that come through. First thing that hit me was the lime and the, um, the grapefruit. I could smell that straight away and then the after scent of the, the gun powder, wow. <laughs> Sorry, I get to, I get excited. Post shave is a parasso. I don't even know if that is focusing because I haven't got my glasses on. Give it a shake. Good stuff. Imagine we always we all use good stuff, don't we? There we go. That's all you need. A little bit of a, a greasy texture, but it dries out superb when it's rubbed in. Wow, that complements, there's a slight scent with that, and it complements it really well. God, that was good. Wow. I know soaps. And everything else aren't for everybody, everybody's different, I understand that. Same as everything else. <laughs> but that's what I love about this uh, wet shaving, it's the versatility, all the different combinations, the fact that, Sophie, this was a fantastic shave for me. If you did exactly the sh same shave, it might be uh, awful for you. That's what I love about this, um, this hobby. No blotter, plunder. I would recommend it. And I'll leave a link in the description to everything I've used where I can, just to help you guys. Right, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. And thank you for the new subscribers as well. I've had a few again this week. Thank you so much for jumping on board and supporting the Chammy, the Chammy the channel. Thanks to you guys for your continued support. Thank you so much. Right, I'll see you on the next video. Have a fantastic rest of the week, guys. Stay smooth and stay safe. Bye now.